One in a million. Charlotte, the 12 to 14 year old stingray, is pregnant in a tank with no male stingrays. At first, Brenda Raymer, the founder of Team Echo, didn't believe it. People have written and said, well, they can hold male sperm, you know, for years. And I'm like, she's never been around a male until we put those two little boys in here. That's when she noticed the bite marks on Charlotte's body, a habit of mating sharks. Meet Mo and Larry, one of whom could be the father of Charlotte's pups. You want the net or you just want to um, I can just, just bring them up? Bring them up. Okay. Mo and Larry were thought to be too young to be able to reproduce. We'll soon find out if that's true. She's the girl you want. <laughs> She's the girl you want. The other explanation and the more likely scenario, Charlotte is going through a very rare process called parthenogenesis, in which the eggs develop on their own without fertilization and create a clone of their mother. And with our bamboo shark up in the other corner, we've had experience with parthenogenesis with her, you know, 14 different times. Um, we had one that baby that lived 30 days outside of the egg. Raymer says they've studied that process in sharks, but says it doesn't happen much in rays in captivity. The last full study, she says, took place a quarter of a century ago. Kinsley's the best. She has come a long, long way. She has found her rhythm. The aquarium has been closed for renovations, but reopens its doors Thursday. We're kind of expecting a deluge, <laughs> which is great, and that's fine. You know, we want people to come and see her and talk to us about her. Raymer says she is working to set up a live stream of the tank so as many people as possible can see the pups, as many as four, when they are born. There's our girl. She says, hello, Mom. Raymer says if they are born alive, she hopes to keep the family together, but will have to get a tank almost double the size of Charlotte's current home. We just underestimate these poor little fish. It's a once in a bluest of blue moons experience, and it's like, wow. In Hendersonville, Justin Berger, News 13.